Hi, I'm Luke Williams, and my demo that I'm showing here is topper rack switches with metal as a service. So what I have here is I have two Facebook wedge switches. They're standard topper rack switches that you'd find in any data center. And what I'm simulating is I have metal as a service running on this topper rack switch. This rack switch is also managing these 10 servers that are simulated in this orange box, as well as managing this Facebook Wedge 40 switch that could possibly be in another rack in the data center. As you can see, I have it deployed uh, Ubuntu on five servers, and I have five of them basically being re ready to be used. With that, I can actually go in and manage the software using Juju. So I can take Juju and model my big software that I want to deploy onto my servers. From this, I basically model the Juju, tell it to deploy OpenStack. It goes, interacts with the servers, powers it on, deploys an operating system. Juju then comes in and installs the software on it. And then after it's completed, I can come back and I am now able to manage my cloud. The other thing that I have going on is that I also am running Snaps because it's running Ubuntu 16. The SNAP functionality allows us that I can now have a network control software, which I'm actually running SNAP Routes Flex Switch. So with that SNAP Routes Flex Switch, I'm actually able to manage the front panel ports by saying, bringing them admin on, admin off, uh, deciding what VLAN that they can go in and whatnot. Now, the functions that I get with having this as a SNAP is that if I want, I can easily update this without having to bring down my network. I can easily roll up a snap and do with a snap with the command snap refresh and update it. If I find any issues with it, I can quickly roll back with snap, ref uh, snap refresh to the previous revision. The other nice thing about snaps is that I can actually remove the snap and install a different network control software snap. So if I wanted to install, say, uh, Quagga, I could easily install that on top of the rack switch, or I can install Open Switch or Onos. Nice. Uh, another feature that I can get with uh, the software being snapped on Ubuntu 16 is that I can extend the functionality of my device. So if I wanted to have a firewall snap, I can install that and it won't impact the core functionality of my device. I can update my firewall snap and it's not going to impact the core snap that's running for my uh, core switch. The last thing that I love to show on this is because it's running 1604, I have kernel live patching enabled. This allows us that we can update the kernel on the, on the switch without having to reboot it. And that's as simple as looking at it. And you can actually see I've actually had all of these security vulnerabilities patched with the kernel without having to reboot the switch, which makes it important because this switch is managing my rack of servers that's running OpenStack. So any of my customers that are running OpenStack on my cloud that's attached to the switch they won't have any downtime, and I don't have to plan a large maintenance window to actually do perform this type of maintenance.